What's going on guys? Welcome in to Clutch B Ball TV. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night. And you guys are probably like, what's up with the hat? Well, my hair is absolutely crazy and I do not want anyone roasting me in the comment section again. Because, oh my gosh, my post game video, my hair was just absolutely crazy. While well, I was ripping my hair out during just like every possession, if it was Alfred Payton shooting a three when he shouldn't have been shooting a three, when we're rolling in the third quarter, it, it, it just hurt me, and I always do this, and just like, I shouldn't have to do that. I'm 16 years old. Yes, I'm probably going to be balding by the time I'm 21 years old. That's just life as a Knicks fan. But yeah, we are going to be talking about some news, but before we get into this video, I want to give a big shout out to the Knicks universe. Thank you so much um, for the news. You're the reason I'm reporting on this video, so shout out to you. Make sure you check out his Instagram, up-to-date news, and the Knicks world rumors and all that. If you love the Knicks, make sure you check him out for sure, even if you love roasting the Knicks. And you want to drop my boy a follow, make sure you check him out as well. Shout out to my boy Avery. But he is reporting as a Maury Spellman most likely is going to be cut by the New York Knicks. Of course, originally how we got a Maury Spellman was a part of the Ed Davis trade. Of course, we originally traded for Ed Davis. We ended up getting Ed Davis for just like absolutely nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. And then, of course, we ended up flipping Ed Davis for draft capital. We ended up getting Jacob Evans and a, a Maury Spellman in exchange as well. And Ed Davis is probably going to be like a nice locker room presence for the Minnesota Timberwolves over there. But Spellman, I was actually really excited um, to get him. But then I also realized the flaws. Of course, originally drafted by Atlanta, I believe in the 2018 NBA draft, 30th overall by the Atlanta Hawks. He ended up being um, dealt to the Golden State Warriors. He ended up being dealt with the Minnesota Timberwolves. And I'm like, this dude's so talented. Why is he being dealt like crazy? It's because of his love for the game. People don't knock his talent. It's if he's able to really keep himself in check and be like, you got to be in good shape, hold himself accountable. That's the big thing. He doesn't act like an NBA professional and he's not happy anywhere he goes. That's why he's potentially going to be on another NBA team after we wave him or he might be going somewhere overseas. But of course, we ended up getting those second round picks, had Jacob Evans, and we also had a Maurice Spellman, but most likely they're both going to be waived. And the reason why we're going to be waving a Maurice Spellman, first off, He's going to have no productivity here. He might just be in the G League. And I know there's only a few teams that they're going to be doing the G League for. And we're going to waive him so we can free up a roster spot and bring in former Nick Taj Gibson, also a former member of the Minnesota Timberwolves and Chicago Bulls as well. And this is another team Tom Thibodeau is going to be head coaching. And it's going to be another year potentially that he is going to be coaching Taj Gibson. He coached Tom, um, Taj Gibson in the Kirk Heinrich, Derek Rose era, Joakim Noah. Of course, part of the Chicago Bulls, he coached them on the Minnesota Timberwolves, Carl Anthony Towns, Andrew Wiggins, Jimmy Butler, those types of guys. And of course, he coached Jimmy Butler when he was on the Chicago Bulls. And we know Jimmy Butler is a different type of dog. Just his mentality is insane. And I actually think Taj Gibson would be a perfect guy to bring back. I thought he had good productivity for us last year. He was definitely a great presence in the locker room. And I've been really surprised that he is a free agent because he brings such a great locker room presence and he's still a productive NBA player. And I thought he was solid for us, especially because New Orleans Noel is out with the ankle injury and Tibbs probably wants to bring that veteran presence, that guy that's good in the locker room to really um, round up these troops um, for sure. And could definitely help out a guy like Mitchell Robinson, especially because Mitchell Robinson, if he gets into foul trouble, we're kind of screwed. We have to have um, Julius Randle at the five position and we saw that kind of worked out in some possessions against Rudy Gobert and when New Orleans Noel out, Taj Gibson could add an extra roster spot of depth and he can help out young guys like Mitchell Robinson. And I really liked how he represented New York. He's from New York, has a nice mid-range shot, and he's still pretty athletic for his age. And we're not really getting him for his productivity on the court. In my opinion, we're bringing him in to be a depth piece and a locker room presence. Of course, we're bringing him, bringing him in for somewhat of a presence on the court and productivity. That's obviously a part of it. But I think this would be a good move by the New York Knicks. Low risk, high reward in the fashion of good for the young players. And definitely good culture changing player just... Good player for the culture, bringing guys like him, of course, Austin Rivers, how he's representing New York. He's been a great job being a leader, but I just want to report that to you guys. Thank you so much for your great amount of support. This channel is not possible without you guys. Be free to click the subscribe button, smash the like button as well. And thank you so much for being a great member, man. I really do appreciate that. You already know who you are, so I do not have to say your name. And peace out, y'all.